Hi everyone, um, this is Shen Lin, and uh, I'm very happy to introduce our work on controllable image synthesis in this Eurographics 2021. This is a joint work with Daniel Cohen Or, Hao Chun Chen, and uh, Ninoi J. Mitchell. The goal of this work is uh, image generation, which has been long studied in computer graphics. Uh, here we can see a very typical workflow in CG, uh, where we first author the geometry of the scene and put on some material balls and uh, set up the lights. Then we execute the rendering engine to produce a very realistic image. This modeling and the rendering process is fully controllable, but the bottleneck is clearly that um, we need to explicitly author a fully detailed scene every time we want to generate an image. While well, recently neural networks have given rise to neural rendering as alternatives, uh, so specialized networks are trained end-to-end -to, -end to operate on deep features stored on sparse geometry such as voxels, points, and uh, surface patches, or just even render images from uh, random noise samples. Neural rendering has changed image synthesis workflow by uh, bypassing the content creation stage, but clearly they lack the control as supported in traditional rendering. So in this work, We'd like to combine these two approaches for a hybrid neural model towards forming a neural rendering for controllable image generation and thereby bypassing the need for detailed modeling in 3D. Speaking of the related work, the um, line of work would definitely be the uh, generative adversarial networks which, since its invention just a few years ago, has evolved into so many variants that synthesize images from just noise samples. Um, now we can see the SOTA methods have now been able to generate images of very high realism. While it is increasingly possible to provide guidance through conditional code, uh, structured latent space, style example or semantics input, uh, it still remains hard to directly control generated images by updating all of geometry, camera, illumination, or material uh, parameters. We were particularly inspired by the recently proposed visual object networks VAN that takes uh, a generated a generated a rough shape and the trains a 2D texture network to synthesize the final images. Uh, different formats, they directly output final RGB images and do not provide access to interpretable feature maps uh, in the middle of the generation of images. Thus, uh, prevents direct, direct um, illumination control. Researchers have also developed various 3D generative models for automatic content creation, ranging from single object, indoor scene, urban landscape, and the terrain generation. Um, but the generated geometry is still insufficient to be directly rendered into high quality images. A very exciting breakthrough is neural rendering, where deep features are learned on coarse geometry and uh, then neurally rendered to produce the final images. But most of these approaches uh, use supervised training and the target novel view synthesis task. Then uh, let's take a look at how our method NGP generates images. Starting from a noise sample, we first generate a coarse 3D shape. 
then obtain a depth image by a depth projection under a specified viewpoint. Following by a set of generators that produce view-specific 2D interpretable maps, which includes four reflectance property maps and a neural rendered realistic specular map. The generated reflectance maps along with a specified light setting are then fed into a conventional renderer, here bling form renderer to be more specific. Blending the resulted rendering with the uh, neural generated realistic specular map, a realistic image is finally generated. So in NGP, we have a shape handle to control the coarse geometry via direct editing or latent control. We have a camera handle to offer um, direct control to rotate the camera view. And we have appearance control uh, handle to manipulate the appearance of the object via direct editing and the latent control. And last, we have illumination handle offers um, direct control uh, to specify the light. Um, then I'm going to show how we get these network modules. Um, we will need to learn to generate rough shapes. And uh, from a specified view, we will need to learn to uh, generate reflectance maps, including a diffuse albedo, a detailed normal, a roughness, and a specular albedo map. Um, and we will also learn to generate a realistic specular map that further has realism to the final images. For the training data, the training data only contains a set of 3D shapes, a set of reflectance maps, and a set of real images. Note that uh, there's no correspondence between these data sets. For learning geometry synthesis, we just employ uh, the IMNet and follow the latent GAN scheme for obtaining such a module. We then project the generated rough shape onto 2D domain and uh, get a depth map uh, given specified camera parameters. Then we will train G diffuse albedo and G detailed normal to convert this depth map into a diffuse albedo in a detailed normal map that full responding discriminators. Combining these two generated maps using only the diffuse part of the blame form rendering model, we can get an intermediate uh, rendering from which we will train G depth to reconstruct the input depth map. These networks are trained with a set of GAN losses and a set of cycle consistency losses. Uh, note that due to the lack of diverse data for training, we just simply set the roughness and the specular albedo generator to constant functions. Uh, but this clearly produces unrealistic specularity on the final images. So, to add further realism to the final images, we will train another module, G Realistic Specular, to generate a realistic specular map um, such that blending this generated realistic map, uh, specular map, with the generated diffuse image leads to a composite image that fools a realistic images discriminant. This network is also trained with the adversarial loss and the cycle consistency loss. Now we are moving uh, to the results part. Um, here we show some results. Uh, this is the qualitative results on cars and the comparisons with those neural only methods, for example, BC GAN, uh, LS GAN, WGAN GP, and VAN, shown here. 
uh, this is the results in the comparison on chairs. And uh, here we also show the quantitative results in comparisons against those baselines. The metric here is the uh, FID score, which roughly measures how close a set of generated images is to those real images. Uh, we can see that our method outperforms these baseline methods both qualitatively and quantitatively. Here we show more visual results uh, with generated intermediate maps, uh, including the detailed normal map and uh, the diffuse albedo map and uh, the realistic specular map. The last column is the, is the final generated images. This video shows the results by controlling the shape, uh, camera, and the appearance in the generated images. Our method uh, also supports user-direct editing over the shape geometry. Uh, we can rescale the shape of producing a longer or higher car as we can see in the video. Um, and uh, the same thing can also be done uh, on chairs. We can stretch it, rescale it, producing images. Our method models detailed normal maps uh, in the reflectance property maps generation stage so that uh, additional lights can be added on top with explicit control of the illumination. As we can see here, uh, we can control and specify the light settings, moving the light, and then we can also change its intensity. Well, so as a first attempt towards neural graphics pipeline for controllable images generation, uh, there are still some limitations in our method of current form. First, the image quality is far below SOTA method in computer graphics uh, due to the insufficient resolution, no global illumination and the shadows. And uh, the realistic specular map while providing further realism, lacks of control since it is view-dependently modeled. Uh, last, uh, it is obvious that um, our method has no multi-view consistency uh, due to view-dependent modeling in 2D domain. Last, uh, to conclude, we present a novel neural graphics pipeline that combines the strength of neural networks and the traditional graphics pipeline. Uh, the proposed method first generates post 3D shapes and uh, then decorate it with interpretable uh, intermediate maps in 2D domain for producing the final images. Uh, it, uh, it is worth noting that the method is trained in an unpaired data setting uh, with two carefully designed cycle consistency networks. Um, okay, that will be all for my presentation today. Um, thanks so much for your time.